Number 20. Before there was a SpongeBob, before there was a Finding Nemo, we had this to deal with. Fish police. I'm surprised I even remember this show. Premise of the show. Fish are police apparently. Fighting crime. That's it. Number 19. You guys remember all that, of course you do. Well, here's the weird deranged version of that show called Squawk Box. still in place after watching all that weirdness. Squawk Box, from what I can remember, was really fucking weird sketch show starring kids. The only reason I remember this show is because this weird looking kid was in the movie It Takes Two, which is a horrible movie to begin with. And I was going all through IMDB on the It Takes Two page trying to find this kid who's was in this show because I could not remember his name because I remember him from that f weird ass show. It took me a while. His name is of Tiffenbach, 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 Tiffenbach. The weird kid from the Squawk Box show grew up to be even more weirder and he was in Harold and Kumar. Where was he in Harold and Kumar go to White Castle? There you see, you see him right there in the far corner there, just in the background. At least he went somewhere. Number 19, Cow and Chicken. I'm just gonna let the intro speak for itself. Mama had a chicken. Mama had a cow. Dad was proud, he didn't care how. It was a weird show. It was enjoyable. I didn't know what the fuck I just watched when I was a kid. But the weirdest thing is, they actually acknowledge that the father is proud of having a cow and chicken. And when they say that, they show nothing but his genital area. 17. Ghost Rider. No, not that Ghost Rider, but come to think of it, Nicolas Cage on a weekly basis would be pretty awesome. Excuse me. Hi. I'll be right with you, sir. Hi. Hi, I need a refill of this. I don't have a prescription. Sir, but... please wait your turn. I know, I know, but this is an emergency. Hey, buddy, ever heard of a line? Hey, have you ever been dragged to the sidewalk and being until you pissed blood? <laughs> Listen, I I'm sorry. I, I really need the prefect. They're supplements, sir. The bullshit, they're... man! Prefects! Supplement. Prefects! Aisle four, prefects. sir. Ghost Rider, the show, basic concept. This ghost, who is a sparkly bubbly thing, helps out kids solve mysteries like Scooby-Doo. That's basically it, every episode. Ghost Rider helps solve mysteries. 
16 biker mice from Mars. Take away the turtles, you get mice instead, and on bikes. That's basically it. 15 attack of the killer tomatoes. Watch this and tell me if any of this makes any sense. I have no idea what I just saw, but it was an awesome show anyway. Memorable too. 14, Dog City. Premise of the show. Muppets that are dogs draw this cartoon show about dogs in a world filled with dogs and the dog is a cop. Busting the mafia dog, Boss King. 13. In the house, LL Cool J stars as this former football player gets injured trying to recuperate everyday basis live. We get to see his everyday life when he tries to recuperate. Along comes Kim Wayans. Yes, one of the Wayne sisters. Actually, I think she's the only Wayne sister out of the Wayne brothers. Kim Wayans is his therapist to help him out with his foot problems or legs. Hello Cool J gives her a gift just because she's good at her job. She becomes a mega stalker. Then later on Carlton joins the show. Number 12. Surf dudes with attitude. Okay, I'm not gonna sing this song. Just listen to this. Man, was this the most awesomest show ever back then. The equivalent to Saved by the Bell. Actually, it was the same thing as Saved by the Bell, but it took place in a different city. It was a band. They sang. That's the entire premise. This was before the whole Disney era shit of Hannah Montana and all that bullshit. At least California Dreams had some awesome music to it. Number 11, City Guys. Just like California Dreams and every other Saved by the Bell show type show, this one took place in New York, in the ghetto area of school. Bully of the show, L Train. I so thought that kid was Tracy Morgan back in the day, because he sounded exactly like Tracy Morgan. But he wasn't Tracy Morgan. Give it a chance, watch it, it's awesome. <laughs> 